Alright, hi everybody. This is Dad from Ray and Dad, and I'm on a bit of a solo adventure. I'm taking my parents around to go check out some of the painted churches here in, in the central portion of Texas. So our first stop today is actually in a place called St. Cyril and Methodius Church um, in the town of Dubina. And so this is a town that was settled by, by Czech settlers um, and German settlers in the area in the 1850s. Um, and this church that's behind me is a church that they built in 1911. And so this is a, a well-known church. And the first one of our, our four or five we're gonna stop at to take a look at the painted churches of Texas. Inside, take a look inside this church. So it looks like they have it gated off right now. And it's not open. So although they have this barred off, you can still see some of the beautiful artwork and the blue ceilings and some of the colors that they used. Very pretty. So you can see some of the flourishments and some of the artwork. I love the artwork along each of these arches. Really pretty. And I really like the blue colors. Very nice. All right, unfortunately they have it, so we can't get in all the way and look um, up at the main part of the ceiling. So hopefully the other churches will be open um, but at least we get kind of a quick view of it. Um, similar to some of the, the stylization and paintings they have inside the main part of the chapel. They have all these these decorations and, and flourishments. And here's a little pamphlet on Dubina, the first Czech settlement in Texas. Oh, I didn't know that. So this is the first Czech, Czech settlement. And here's some information about all that. So. Um, it's neat that they have little pamphlets and stuff. I guess I'll take this with me and read some and learn about it. They also have from members uh, of the, the community that served, uh, that were in, in the service. And you can see they've had a lot of folks from World War II that were here. World War I, Korean, and Vietnam. Wow. Cool. Well, that was really neat checking out St. Cyril and Methodias Church, I hope I'm saying that right, here in Dubina, which was the first Czechoslovakian or Czech uh, settlement here in uh, Texas, which is really neat. I had no idea. So what's neat about this early settlement is they had, uh, Dubina once had a cotton gin, a grist mill, a hotel, general store, saloon, blacksmith shop, post office, telegraph office, a large outdoor pavilion, and even a zoo here. So there's some of the ruins down the road. I'm going to go see if I can get a picture. It looks like it's gated off, but we'll see if we can get a picture of some of the old ruins for you. Here's some of old Dubina. And what you saw on that plaque is it had all kinds of interesting things, like a saloon, a grist mill, even a zoo. But you can see some of the old buildings down here, must, which must be this ghost town portion of Dubina. And so, kind of neat bunch of old buildings down here. I wish I can get back there someday. Maybe I'll have to find out who owns the property and get a tour. Um, that adobe, or that kind of adobe-ish house or whatever that is out there, looks really interesting. But if I turn around, have these old school <laughs> restrooms, and there's the, the church we just visited, St. Cyril's and Methodias. So our next stop is going to be St. John's, the Baptist Church, about four miles up the road from here. Also, I think it's a, in a Czech, um, settlement area. So I think it's called Ammonville, but we'll check that out once we get up there. So we'll see you up there at St. John the Baptist Church. Only in Texas we come by across a field <laughs> that are rolled hay bales that are red, white, and blue. So these are all like American flag hay bales <laughs> all the way around. How cool is that? All right, made it to the next painted church, St. John's the Baptist Catholic Church in Ammonsville, Texas. Built 1890. Pretty cool. Look at that steeple. It's a beautiful old church. Wow, I'm excited to get inside. I can already see, see there's a bunch of stained glass here. So let's go check out St. John's, the Baptist Catholic Church. Check out these old doors. Wow. All right, so I'm going to be very quiet in here, but we can actually walk all the way inside this church. And you can just see how beautifully it's painted all through here and the stained glass windows wow a 
Look how beautiful this is. And it looks like we can even maybe walk up into the balcony and get a different view from the balcony up there. But it's just beautifully decorated and painted and kind of this, I guess, mauve. Turn around so you can see the inside of this place. Oh. That's turning around in 360. Now go across the ceiling. Wow. Very beautiful. Look at the details. It's a close up of some of the patterns on the walls here. Just beautiful. The stained glass work is gorgeous as well. Wow. That was St. John's the Baptist Church here in Ammonsville, Texas. It's beautiful. So this is St. Mary's of High Hill, and this is a big steeple. You can see this church coming miles and miles away. Let's go inside and, and take a look. So we can walk through these doors. Uh, so they have swinging doors and they have a bit on church etiquette, just unrespecting the place. So I'm gonna be quiet, no food or drinks. All I can say is, wow, look at this place. call this the queen of the painted churches and they are not joking so I'm just at the entryway I'm gonna pan up so you all can see the ceiling here Ooh, wow this is unreal absolutely gorgeous See where the organ player sits. It'd be great to come here for a mass sometime. Listen to this organ play. Wow. There's our balcony where they, it looks like they have a choir set up. I have these chandeliers hanging down. And look at the detail on the ceiling. I'm just going to stop here for a second so everybody can look at this. So within each of these little triangles, they have all kinds of embellishments, all kinds of beautiful colors with a lot of gold trim and so the stained glass is fantastic and it looks like it was done in 1899 the stained glass here wow beautiful the fact that the stained glass was done in 1899 it's still here and the detail look at that eye that is unreal detail in stained glass colors in the stained glass. I had no idea you could get so many colors and so vibrant, especially with all the flowers and floral designs on the outside. Even the outside of the church is absolutely gorgeous and just looks so historic and beautiful. So these are the grounds outside the church. It's really nice. What a beautiful church, well worth coming to check out. Um, definitely, if you're in this area just north of Schollenberg, here in High Hill, it's worth stopping by and seeing this beautiful piece of art. Um, the building's beautiful, the painting's beautiful, uh, all the woodwork and the statues are beautiful, the stained glass is beautiful. This may be one of the most beautiful churches I've ever walked into. Definitely worth coming to check out St. Mary's of High Hill. All right, so we have at least, I think, one more church to go, uh, to go check out on our way to Schollenberg. So we'll go do that. Um, all right, so our last stop on the painted church tour here in the Schollenberg area of Texas is we're checking out the St. Rose of 
Lima Church. And so this one was built in the 1950s. So this is a, a much newer church than the other ones we've seen, but pretty excited to go check it out. Definitely has a different architecture to it. The doors even look like the 1950s here, folks. So let's go take a look. So they had a service going on in there. So I took some just panning pictures, which I'll include right now. property here at St. Rose of Lima. They have this little alcove area and including this little, I guess, little mini church. Not exactly sure what it is. It's got a little stained glass on the side. And this is a pretty neat effect. They actually have a, a cross on the ground that fills with water, which gives a pretty cool visual going this way. So this is neat. This is a statue to St. Isidore, the patron of farmers. And looks like they made this all from old metal and rebar. That's really cool. It's a very beautiful church. It's really hard to compare to the St. Mary's of High Hill. Uh, this is clearly done in kind of that, I guess it's that 1950s, what are that modern art deco style. I'm not sure about my styles, but that's what it reminded me of a lot. Things that you saw in like the 50s and 60s, kind of that modern kind of um, ish type, modern-ish type, type look to it. But, pretty cool still to come see this so this was the last stop on our our taking a look at the painted churches so thanks for joining us today to take a look at all these and if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe to our channel we'd love to have you along with us on all of our adventures and most of all make sure to enjoy mm -hmm.